No fakes available, just full commitment and a good grenade to respond, but it's all down to Mezzi here with the jewelies. He will be tested right here, right now. Perfect weapon for the job, Hank, and he's already taken one. Crims as well, connecting through the smoke. The flak damage returned as Antares. Good for the shutdown. Now Jewel Beretta's hunting down Madger. Low, hiding behind the sandbags, and Roy with 15 bullets to spare does dispatch of the leader. Two left for the Turks and not looking particularly healthy. Next Floud and Zantares. Sure, clock on their side, but three. Oof, make it two. Members of Fnatic left and next Floud. Oh dear, he's got too many options. On the bomb, defusing now, and a nice 10 second defuse to secure it. Well, there we have it then. The B execution shut down. A moment of opportunity there for Eternal Fire in the two versus one, but Xflower taken down to a low point of health and nothing really can be done as the Jewelies are recovered. It's Fnatic going up 1-0. Lovely setup here. Perfectly timed smoke for the entry of Eternal Fire here. Nothing they could really do. Taking so much damage on route. And it's Roy with the flank with those Jewel Elites getting the job done and good cover here from Nikodos. Just two points of health for Xflower. Nothing. Roy should have a frag every day of the week. Nikodos, if not, to trade. Oof, that smoke suggests they're coming. They will be focusing towards the quad side and Nika Dorsa and Roy. SMG striking first. It's the Deagle. Ooh. Ooh. Oh dear, that's a blunder. And look what happens now because Zantares leaping out of the balcony will catch Nika Dorsa and that has rumbled the Fnatic defense. This looks so good. They were set up for success and now this second round, it looks like it's destined for eternal fire. Doesn't look good whatsoever. Mezzi and Crims. Now separated from the bomb side by the Molotov deployed at the three on two. As mentioned, Eternal Fire probably had more firepower going into that one. They've actually got three rifles in hand still. Mezzi and Crims will have to save the MP9 and the FAMAS. They've already conceded the round, and that's going to be it. Lovely little setup here, but couldn't quite find the multiple fragments. Fasher going down to that Deagle that really is the difference maker. Things get a little bit kooky there. As you see, Roy trying to pick up another gun, but in fact just runs to his certain death. And all three will exit with a nice weapon. Yeah, access to Banana, and they're flashing, they're going, pushing through the flames, and still gets a frag. Imor takes an early frag, and Roy will happily retrieve a Galil. Yeah, not too bad, all things considered for Fnatic. They're thinking Zantara is down to five points of health as well, recovered a Galil. So it's boosted their chances for sure. They've actually allowed Crims to peel off now. So a three-man lead to kick things off, and now focusing towards A, hoping they've done enough to funnel the remainder of Eternal Fire into this position with sub one minute on the clock. CT's still with a Molotov. That's in the hands of Roy, so he can justify playing this position by himself, but he wants to hold that Molotov until the last possible moment, until he feels like he can't really do much more. So they are coming in his direction, deploys the Molly. They're not falling back just yet, though. They might wait this one out, and Nikodos can feel it. He'll be rotating over with Fasher, in fact. Yeah, hedging their bets. And I mean, it's well timed. They've got the smoke on Fasha, so if they can smoke them out for Banana now, they might secure this round. There it is. What's the reaction? I mean, they're going to have about, what, 10 entry if he can. Smoke, go, and dead. Down goes the bomb with 10 seconds left. It could all fall apart as it has. X Cloud down as well. It's all good in the Fnatic hood. A double from Fasha, but a, a complete team effort. The kill spread is beautiful. It's mathematical. One, two, three, and four as you climb up the Fnatic boys. Yeah, that was very nice and Fnatic. Good mid-round decisions there after taking the initial banana control and trading out kills, enabling to get another rifle within their defense. At that stage, leaving Roy with the Molotov. They're able to boost the defenses towards A and keep pushing them around the map. Then setting up this final B setup here. You can see the boost towards second oranges as well. Hitting a great deagle shot and just trading out the kills to come out on. And already Fasher in that mini pit's going to be a very hard clear. But into the site comes him or flat lines Nikodos. And this one from Fasher is important. So is that. Gets two still stubborn on the pit. Distraction as Imor looks a little silly. Ooh. And x Flower holds on at 1v1 with him on the site. Wrapping around, Fasher has done it all from that pit position. He's got a bit more to do here up against x Flower. He's been a bit of a clutch master in Pro League so far. Bomb down on the A-bomb site. Fasher with the advantage. Three kills to his name this round, but oh. the element of surprise is in favor of x Flower. but that's gone now. He'll smoke down towards Moto, and it's a big one-on-one -on -one duel. 
With Fnatic giving it up, Fasha can't believe it. Mate, we are going all the way with these four spies. I think that might be enough to buy respect out of Fnatic, but I see a couple of people on or just the one on 1,400 Crips yeah. is on the double eco anyway. So yeah, they're probably going to force by in response. They've got a technical issue now to think about what just happened there, but Fasha fighting two for nail from the pit is not enough. Down to the one versus one, he even gave up his position. 18. All it takes is Fasha and Roy to do something, this Danish duo. Roy, good for it. And yeah, it's good one from the Dutchman as well. With one second to spare, they'll get the bomb down. Nikodos coming in from library side. Two pushing up the banana for the mid fight. And Madge has been equipped with the AWP. Should be set for one here. You'd hope so. He's in a prime position to find one fall back, but... Speaking of which, Fnatic are going to concede yet another, allowing the scoreline to go 5-2 to two in favor of the Turkish squad. And uh, well done to Eternal Fighter. The fact they've timed that to perfection, as you mentioned, two players lying in wait, one more second against them, and the round falls apart, but they put it off perfectly. Three players survive, and Fnatic left of no choice as the difficult start continues for them here after winning the pistol and the third round force by having got anything done whatsoever as Eternal Fire will find their fourth in a row. I would say another tactical timeout coming in for Fnatic here, but a fantastic start from the Turkish squad as they'll have cash to spare as well. So there it is, the tactical timeout has been called and that is by Fnatic, I believe, indeed. Yeah. Certainly. Round number eight here. Decent utility damage at the stars. And Taras takes a face full of shrapnel from the HE grenade down to 68. And a more boost for Fnatic as Crims. That is one brave peak. I assume he thought the smoke was covering him and allowing him to actually maybe have an investigation towards the bottom of Banana. But if anything, that gap was uh, guaranteeing certain death. It'll be dealt with by Amor. Five on four with a minute remaining as well. And what's the CT reaction here? Currently, just with Mezzi. The in-game leader with zero utility to speak of to hold off the B-bomb site. That is not ideal at all. They can just walk in, essentially. What can he even do about it? Yeah, I mean, bullets is his only option, and he has got a magazine full of them. Still, the procedures of the utility that are coming his way are probably going to make things very he difficult. Ha has a rotating Roy who has a flashbang. That is about it. Oh, this is bleak. What's he supposed to do? Madge is not looking, though, and it's a free frag for Messi. Okay. Allowed to fall out into the flames. Roy does well again onto the bomb carrier. That Centaur oh, is gone. He went the on smoke. That. And now Roy can push in again. The oh, team flash isn't good. Fasha has to reposition. And that should, uh, should allow a plant. Should. But no one's looking. Imol was looking the wrong way. Does get reacted to by X Flower. Does a sick is secure. And the chicken lives to fight another day. Oh, I felt like there was a chance there. Mezzi with the one frag he desperately needed gets away with it as well. The gap in the smoke enabled the MP9 to swing, but eventually became a real burden for them as well. The terrorists having full vision and CT spawn by virtue of their own gap. But uh, there we have it. Three will survive, and it will be a more with three big frags on that AWP. So that's going to be maximum loss bonus, Alex, for Fnatic going forward now. That does help them out somewhat, means with the save them four, they can at least partially invest into this one and hopefully steal a round away because this one is getting out of hand for them. The T-side campaign of Eternal Fire is looking very strong. And it hasn't had to be down to crazy 1vx situations or a amazing Xantara's performance. It's been a great calculated team effort where a couple of 1v1s have gone their way, uh, but the big names are showing up when they need them. Missing the chicken swipe there, but uh, that's fine. To be tested once again, back up from Fashu, who has been fragging well. Just playing the pixel gap. But this is an apartment's pound, Sally. They're going to be just throwing a flashbang out and challenging Messi. He'll probably find one with the angle. There's the flash. And now, Detective needs to find at least one. Does well, and it's Antares. Here he comes. This could be a bigger problem to deal with. Yeah, I mean, Messi's done so much work there. The nade looks good to soften there up Major as Antares, though, is coming. Oh! No, Messi! No, he's let it slip there. The headshot angle. And Imor hits the reaction. They can't get in now. The door slams shut, bangs them out on the way out. It is Crims and Nikodos leaving empty-handed. Six in a row. So first it's going to be Imor, and then it's going to be Zantares. And if every time they walk into a site, one of them is getting a multi-kill, Eternal Fire are going to be set. Yeah, they are looking very impressive right now. It's going to be difficult to topple this team. Eternal Fire want to make it to those playoffs. 
Last slots available here in Group A. And it looked good for a second. Messi with that opening frag. You'd think he'd be able to convert that and stay alive. But as mentioned, if Zantares is alive... HP off the back of the Fnatic utility. Leaves him all posted up for the re-aggress. Needs a reaction shot. Just a little shy of the money. Ouch. Good nade back. Going to be very hard to make this one work. But Madja feeling motivated as Fasher's just caught eggs flowed. That was... Uh, an attempt to walk out of the balcony, hoping to draw fire, but it was all too easily solved. And so Fnatic, with the two saved rifles, are actually going to get away with it. Well, that's exactly what they needed. Nikidos to step up there, and it was a big risk. The single push down towards second middle, finds Kallax, rotates back, and actually is very influential, as Fasha will find uh, a Deagle headshot as well to guarantee the round win. And uh, that's going to be a massive prop up for Fnatic now. As Ontario to save the sniper himself, same story for or more as Fnatic now getting back on their feet. Jesus, Henry, I've just realized that Fnatic's three CT rounds, this will be the third, or none of which have been done with a gun round. No, I mean, not yet. <laughs> it was the two times we've seen them go utility heavy, B and banana, where they find these early frags. Admittedly, X Flout's death detached from that. But yeah, uh, it was the pistol round. It was the third round force. And that was with Deagles going aggressive up banana. And yeah, seems to be the recipe for success right now. Fnatic yet to find... A gun round, and well, guns have been scooped up, so we'll get to see that. There is extra goodies hiding at spawn for Zantara's. I would like to think he's going to grab himself one or two of those. He's not. This is the opening kill here. Lovely shot from Nikodos. Had to go for something there. Bravely push it down towards... Alex up towards this Nikodos aggressive angle. As he, whoa, no, he's not ready for that. Nikodos, a nice aggressive posting to get Fnatic an opening. And I think aggression definitely seems to be the remedy for Fnatic right now. They are leaving Crimson deliberately, going to play a more forward banana hold. There's no way. For eternal fire now. They have. Extinct, expended most of the utility. It has to be the full commitment. It's a more to lead the charge. Roy goes down. Can't find the double, though. This is going to be another excellent round for Nikodos if he can keep this up. Wasn't far off of taking down Nikodos there. A blind spray from Zantares. So empty handed, though, and it's Madja and Zantares kind of sent packing. I don't think they're going to commit, continue towards the A side of things. Zantares trying to find the gap now. He's going to have a poke and a prod while Madja holds onto the bomb. Well, if there was a man who could salvage this round. This might be him, Dantares. Great shot there towards the arch side. Mezzi dropped, and they still have time to do something with this. It's three on two. Bomb in towards second middle. And you can see they've kind of lost track of Dantares here as he does rattle off some bullets. His teammate coming up towards the quad side. Ten seconds remaining. That will confirm the round, but Major needs to try and get out of there, but not going to happen. Two rounds in a row. That one is a good round, Alex. I think that's fair to say. Yeah, indisputable. And uh, the gap will start to close, as so does the financial freedoms that Eternal Fire were working with. Now we have a game on our hands. They were running away with this one, but these efforts from Nikodos in the last couple of rounds, he single-handedly got them back into this one with three massive kills once again. He's only got a flashbang remaining. Ooh. Oh, here they come. Yeah, he's actually done some damage through the smoke that Mezzi will profit from. Good counter flashes coming over from CT, but Kalix kicks open the door. They are in. And they know Coffins is occupied. Crims will be denied by the flame again with this gap on CT smoke. It's not ideal. It's really not, but it uh, looks like they won't be paying the price here, but advantage perhaps for Eternal Fire. It's a They're having a retake. Look, they really are. All four Fnatic members coming on in. A smoke, a couple of flashes. And Nikodos trying to clear out this emo position. It's not going to be viable, especially now. Zantares racks up two of the rotators and they're now just trapped trying to hold on to what they can. Crimson's got two players pinned, but he has to leave as well. Do they go down with the ship? It's looking like they've just got enough time if he's quick. Not great. Not great at all. Immort and Kalix down, but the... Round in the back. Uh, it's a big round to take as well. That was the force fight. They would have been in dire straits the remainder of these couple of rounds here in the first half. But still, they win it, and it will be Fnatic having to fall back once again. Like you said, gap in the smoke, spotting them crossover. Nikodos 
with the information, but anyway to pull the trigger. And they're going for Mac 10. He's trying to delay, confirms the Mac 10's in play. Nadja to flash his boys out of boiler. He's considering his options. It's Mezzi that's still happy to establish a crossfire. He's got a three man crossfire forward for brackets. Mezzi up close. He will be finding the first kill down towards the bottom of middle, but here come those Mac 10s. They will answer in kind with a kill towards the boiler room. We're still in the four on four. 50 seconds remain. Starting to transition now. Canix with the bomb on his back. And Crim's inquisitive and catches X Floud out of position with the smoke available as well. 40 seconds. This is big. Fnatic in the driving seat up this round. Nikodos on the AWP. I don't see a world where Zantaras can hit the shop. They'll have to limp in towards the A side now. This one should be done. Basher to confirm it. The MAC 10 is not quite powerful enough. Calix with no chance to pull this one off, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's just a question of seeing what he can get done. Recovered M4 from his frag onto Roy. He's going to have a little look. Confirms bodies on the site. Good for the first. He'd have to clear out for the. <gasps> The wallbang actually connects, only a chip damage. Bash is fine. He's cool. And Fnatic are too as they look to close this gap. Looking with these next duels are going to really determine everything. It's likely to be Madja coming out of that boiler, or rather both balcony and boiler, and everyone meets their demise at the hands of Roy. A double from him, Calix low. Crossing pit, not going to be easy with two here on the cross. Big from x Floud, not expecting the second in the now. Just a formality onto Calix as we see eight <laughs> to seven. An incredible resuscitation from Fnatic. We got a re read here. They're putting everyone back from B. Full stack. Oh my God, it's the right call as well. Just in time, Magic will tuck into long. Mezzi versus Zantares. That P250 should be an equalizing factor, but not against Zantares. Quick to the draw on that USP. Calix was anti, but still eats the flash. Mistimed. Good frags. Eternal fire and firing on all cylinders. You need one more. Roy so low. Nikodos equally as battered and bruised. The bomb is lost and feels like the round imminent as well. Yeah, what else can be done here? They have no utility and hoping for a CT mistake to come through, but Zantaraz, he isn't missing anything. That's the second kill of the round. And more closes things out. The jewel is singing once again, as it will be another successful pistol here for Eternal Fire. But we did see what happened in the first half. But the problem is Fnatic don't get the bomb plant down. So if they were to force it, it'd be pistols across the board, maybe a Galil or two, or they could take the full eco and have strong buy into the third. So they might be opting for the latter here, but here's the replay. Santara is coming over. I'm not sure what read they had, but all five players are on the A bomb site, ready and waiting to receive the final attack from Fnatic. So, very good awareness. And uh, indeed, Krim coming out of boiler, meets his maker. And actually, X Flow gets away with the rifle upgrade. It's frustrating for Roy. He knows it's a big deal as well. They've now got an extra rifle within their arsenal. What a rifle it is. The AK-47 on the CT side is especially potent. And again, they do confirm they have the top of Banana, but feeling like they'll have better chance towards A, but it's going to be a strong setup. Canix will be patrolling towards the arch side. No more. Only towards the pit. And next out with the AK-47, he holds towards the apartments. Oof. Well, it's going to be bare bones, these last four, a nade each, and walking long, just as Calix falls off it, so no contact. Now smoke off for the rotations, and now start the wrap. This is going to be like a 4v3 when Mezzi arrives. It's up to Calix, and x Floud. he's let the first spray go. Hard clear, though, on Calix, and a double. Sends Fnatic back to spawn, just Nikodos to fall. One's great. Anything more unlikely as he's got himself one single bullet and seven seconds. Just by the time he reloads, he'll get another for good measure. He's trying to die. He's trying to die. Finally, <laughs> they oblige. What a hold that was. Very well read once again. Eternal fire. You can see what their map pick. They have a strong understanding on the map. Great crossfires, really making you commit to the actual bomb site itself before you see anything whatsoever. Such dirty, tight positions there at the back, and Calix scores a hat trick. Hell of a hat trick. And uh, didn't even have to reload there as well. They've just got no chance. They're lining up for him. They're so distracted by the players in towards Pit, they have absolutely no chance. Major seals the deal with the MP9. It all started. Even call for rotation, but only two players there. 
This could They're go wrong. They're going to cheeky 1D, you never know. They're not going to be ready. Oh, there it is. That's the 1D. And now Ozantara is too many targets. Overwhelmed. He's going to be run on down. The smoke won't save him. And the spray's not great. Roy has drawn the most crucial blood of the round. Can Fnatic resurrect their hopes on this T side. It's already that scorching dig that's got him in and it seems to be enough to finally break this streak. Well, we said they had a chance of winning it, but it comes down to the Fascia one dig there. I think that's the only scenario they win that round if he gets a run and gun, Deagle one dig, and there it is. It actually comes through and Zantara, as you could see, maybe he gets a big spray down there. He drops the smoke, they come too close, and the round collapses. Can you believe it? Fnatic, just when we said, they might be getting into themselves in a bit of hot water here. They bounce back, and that's going to be a resounding victory for them, as they'll have a lot of money going forward as well. Four players surviving, and they were getting an extra $3,500 on top of the 2K they already have. Bloody hey. hell. I'll tell you one silver lining is that there's still three CTs alive yeah. for the Eternal Fire Boys, product of that save. It does mean those coffers are going to be... In fact, it's consistent. My God, they've had three alive every single round in the second half. That is the first round Fnatic have picked. It is very default from Fnatic so far. Waiting for Immor's reaction. He fires off a shot. Whoa, fast. Perfect boost from Fnatic to take the AWP out of the equation. They know there's probably one there. Only one. And with an SMG, Mad just got it all to do. They're charging down towards him. The leader has got nothing he can deliver. And already the round falls apart. Fnatic, well, that is one way to solve an AWP holding beat. A perfect headshot out of Mezzi, and the rest falls into place. Mezzi's at one HP. So... He gets boosted up. He hits an incredibly fast shot there. You could see him always ready for it as well. We'll have to see it from the replay to see how sick that was. But uh, yeah, very effective set piece there from Fnatic. Getting an instant kill and then deploying everything they have. Finding Major, who was on the back foot to say the very least. And Messi with 1 HP will get out of there as well. So they're still in it for now. Another very clean round and that will keep the finances very strong going forward. Can't say the same for Eternal Fire. Their loss bonus isn't established yet whatsoever. And the cash that we're getting for the next round is only 1,400. So they have no choice but to save these weapons. And more and Major will have compromised setups. Antares can drop a weapon. He can drop an M4 pretty much on the nose. So they'll have enough for that at least. But let's have a look at this. Fantastic work there. So he actually got legged in the process when he jumps up and then down to 1 HP as he survives the round. Major. Master of that, taking the scout into this round of play. And light on nades as well. Kalix not with a single nade to his name. Imor wants to throw some aggression into that mid fight, but thinks better of it after the flashes. Madger has just had a chunk taken out of him by the Nikodos Orb. And it feels like that's enough in terms of offensive pressure to start. Crims burrows into the bedroom. It's X Floud and Kalix trying to hold on to this front of A. And Roy Dry been punished for that. Calix will start to reposition. X Cloud gets away. They hold on to their advantage. In fact, they extend it. A scout tag into Mezzi's leg leaves Fnatic limping. Couldn't have gone better for them, in fact. They've got the man advantage. They get the hell out of Dodge as well. And we'll find ourselves with Fnatic with not much left. Two smokes, two Molotovs, and zero control of Banana right now. They'll have to go through the motions to confirm it's actually clear. At least a flash over the top. Maybe a Molotov on the corner. They'll allow Nikodos to peek it first. No flash required as of yet. But you can see them. They're not feeling safe about the prospect of close range CTs. And they're going to have to use some utility to even get towards the top. Still a lot to do here. Yeah. And at the time of 40 seconds, it's okay. On the other side of things, Major and Zantares with no utility as the B defenders. So this round is not over, even though they have the man advantage. Back and forth we go. And it seems to be A as we'll, where we'll finish up. Yeah, it doesn't look like Eternal Fire really overthinking this. In fact, you can see x Cloud just drops himself a lovely little one way. 20 seconds left. Kalix, a headshot into Crims. A lovely gap manufactured by x Cloud, supported by Imor, but could be exploited as the bullet does connect. Mezzi's down. Fasha trying to make a round out of this. Nine seconds as he's demanded to plant. Can be denied and is. x Cloud wins the round and Nikodos loses everything as well. 13 in the bag and Fnatic cannot find a consecutive round. They really can't. It's going to be 13 to 9. They'll have another buy available, but Eternal Fire keeping the dream alive winning the absolute must win rounds here it's a more with a scout as well that must have been a six shot and it was <laughs> uh x as well playing very well as you noted dropping that one-way smoke which is but it seems like the call from mezzi is actually quite a poppy one 
He just wants the straight up old fashioned apps pop. Uh, the flashes are in, and out they come, straight into the spray of Kalix. Good from Imma on the wall bank. Kalix from the graveyard sends two of Fnatic there, and a third shipped off straight to the graveyard. It's Fnatic losing out on this Inferno. 14 imminent, Fasher in a one versus three. Yeah, good luck, Fasher. They have got the bomb in towards the pit. He has no utility. And if he saves the weapon, he'll get no cash. So what's the play here? A minute on the clock. He'll wait to see if any inquisitive CTs will be exploring the map. They have to do nothing here. They've got the perfect setup. The trifecta of doom has been established. Surround the bomb. And for now, we have a chance to just discuss what's happened, Alex. Uh, do you think the Illuminati are real? Um, I honestly don't know. No. Um... Could be. I saw Rihanna did a little triangle with her fingers at the end of the Super Bowl. You didn't tell me about that. Yeah, I, well, I've been thinking about it all day. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I did, this is new information for me. Yeah, we need to work on that. If anyone was going to be in the Illuminati, it'd probably be her. Yeah. Oh, all right, well, we'll look into that. We'll see what, uh, maybe maybe get Dinko and Harry on it. Yeah, see, I will. see if they can work it Once out. Once they finish their 100 round <laughs> ping pong game. Exactly. Um, well, as we said, if they did win this round, Eternal Fire, that is, they are in the driving seat to take us home on Inferno, 14 to nine, and it will be a full investment from Fnatic. They are gonna go all in with pistols and a couple of AKs. Hasn't been their best showing. We'll see what they can. Comes crashing down, at least for the first map of the series. Bear in mind, it is the pick of Eternal Fights. Overpass next, considered to be the best Fnatic map, but they've had their struggles on it today even. Losing to IHC in the first series of the day feels like a, a lifetime ago now. That was just this morning. Yeah, now they've got to go pull up their socks and do it again, do it for their tournament life. That is operating under the assumption that Eternal Fire can have a nice close. It's never normally that easy, is it? No. Usually there's a few more twists and turns. Just when it's within touching distance, the human psyche starts playing tricks on you. Absolutely. No one wants to be that player to go down first and sabotage oh, God, the chance they had. But it's a good effort, but there it is. Considerable damage, round not over by any stretch, but still, crack starting to form now. Major will bring it back to a four and four. 45 They're seconds out. and Crims, excellent movement. He gets down and towards the pit, but Amor's having none of it. <gasps> Misses the shot, but still alive for now. He's Can he nail the second? Oh. oh, this is excellent work. And now Crims, nothing to be done. Surely this is where it all comes crashing down. Tucked into the corner, AWP trying to do its best here, but Crims fighting two for now. Mezzi will be the last player remaining to keep the dream alive here on Inferno. It looks bleak. Has a smoke available to him and the C4 on his back. With 15 seconds, CTs will stick together. Partnering up, hoping to be able to trade out Mezzi. No idea. And they actually start to split up. Has to go for a deep plant. Fakes it out. That no could idea. be a... No idea. Kalix has run in. Isolates the jewel. Matt coming in from the apartments. It's enough time. Does get it down. Mezzi. Oh, Ooh. 